taking our top and our bottom pieces and we're going to do that by using this round circular piece it's the rim actually of a platter a party platter at Dollar Tree you can pick that up in the party section of your Dollar Tree it is a silver large platter and you just cut the rim off of that and we're just using that to trace for our round bottom and top pieces of our cylinder pillars now we have that traced we're just going to use our box cutter and we're going to cut those out Now what you see me doing here is just measuring the piece that I would need for my middle. So I am going to just place it on the round um, circle that we drew out. And I want to make this piece go from one side to the other side. So I'm just going to measure that out and then I'm going to use my pen to make the mark that I need so that I can cut that piece as needed.
Now that I have that piece cut, I am going to use that as a template to cut my second piece. And I am going to use these to kind of make an X to go in between those two round pieces for the top and the bottom of our pillars so that it will make this piece sturdy enough to hold items as we place it in our events. So now this second piece, I am going to need to mark the middle of this to cut it in the middle to have two pieces. I will have one full and then two half pieces to make the X in the middle of our pillars. So I need to measure to see from end to end what the measurement is to find the middle. And once I find the middle, then I can go ahead and cut this piece in half. And now we will begin to start putting everything together. So it's just like a puzzle piece. We're just putting the pu pieces together of the puzzle. So I'm going to use my glue gun and I am going to put our first full piece onto the bottom base of our pillar.
Now we're going to start putting the two half pieces to make that X that we were talking about earlier. So we will take those half pieces and we will put one on each side using our glue gun. Now we have all of our pieces together and we're going to begin to add the top piece using our glue gun as well.
So now we have all of that put together. It's now time to start to put our outer round layer on our pillar by using the poster board that is found at the Dollar Tree. And what you want to do is measure from end to end on that poster board so that you can wrap it around. And I noticed as I was doing this that my pillar was actually taller than the poster board. So I needed to rectify this situation. I ended up having to cut it down to size, which is really easy because it is foam board. So it's easy to just cut off the piece that I need to cut off and... Um, begin again so now you probably see me measuring off where I need to cut that from end to end with that poster board that I have placed it's a work in progress guys so you're you're going through the progress with me So as you can see, that is how much I had to cut off in order for it to be the right size and length for the poster board. Again, it was really easy to do because it is, it is foam board, so it was easy to cut through and just take that extra piece off and then start over from the bottom part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place it on my poster board and from end to end, I'm gonna make sure that it is level. And then I will start using my glue gun, my hot glue to place on those ends and I will just roll it around the base of the pillar.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We look forward to doing more DIY projects with you guys. So stay tuned for more to come.